I suppose I shall begin with my last will and testament. My name is Cecilia. I have the opportunity to study abroad at the University of Oxford for the upcoming year. This place, ghosts permeate the streets, begging for their stories to be unearthed. And that's what I've come here to do, tell stories. The purpose of these videos is to explore the self, our relationship with time, Identity is the story we tell ourselves, and memory is the medium in which we construct that narrative. So I've departed to this sepulchre city to seek out the unknown mausoleums to memory. I want to unearth the invisible, microcosmic people, their lives and their triumphs and tragedies. Memory, frustratingly, carries many meanings. Emily Kitely and Michael Pickering's mnemonic imagination embodies the lens to frame our narrative. Memory is a vital source for imagining. Imagining is a vital process in making coherent sense of the past and connecting it to the present and future. Our memories are not imaginary, but they are acted upon imaginatively. Film offers the unique medium to explicate and articulate. I can only describe so much to you by word. To understand this story, this place, you must bear witness to it. You must walk its streets and bathe in the shadows of its dreaming spires. Oxford's story encapsulates the juxtaposition of its legendary history and the imperfect experience of everyday life. The city's effigy forewarns clamoring souls of a home of lost causes, of forsaken beliefs, of unpopular names, and of impossible loyalties. Oxford is a dream one can reach but not quite hold. This place is the living personification of memory and imagination encircling each other in an infinite dance. The entanglement of the mnemonic imagination is evidenced by the duality of expectation, the desires left unfulfilled, and the fatality of ghosts who preceded your journey here, craving the very same reckless bleeding that brought you to this place. My home of lost causes lies within the hallowed halls of Christchurch, the most infamous of Oxford colleges. Founded by King Henry VIII, the college's grandeur could not be understated. Its great hall, castle grounds, and fresh green quad were the direct inspiration for J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series, scenes from Hogwarts filmed among these very halls. It carries the fantastical connotations of a medieval castle, a legendary wizarding school, and the royaltist elitism of a British king. Beyond the outer walls lies the Christchurch Meadow. The mist settles upon the land in the light of dawn, the swirling fog inking and snaking through the mossy trees and tall grass. The silvery shroud envelops the castle spires and shadows, cloaking the land with intangible magic. At the edge of this meadow lies the great river Isis, roaring with chilling ferocity and whispering about the secrets in its dark depths. You get the haunting sense that something too agent to be human resides here, whispering in the mist, laughing with the rustle of the red ivy, and bubbling up from the bottom of the Isis. I call this sepulcher my home. It is the fantasy scape I wander in my dreams. It is the cold, bitter streets with mud so thick I dredge my feet. The dissonance exists simultaneously. Both dichotomies, truthful interpretations despite contradicting the antithesis. This duality, memory, and imagination intertwine and unify. Interpreting experience and fantasy, combining Oxford's story into a cohesive narrative. This is the home of lost causes, bringing together the mundane sensation of wandering these streets with the ecstasy of soaring above these dreaming spires. This is my home of lost causes, the unity of imagination and memory.